In two days, you know, parts of North Texas will go dark as the moon passes the sun for the total solar eclipse. This is a once in a lifetime event for Texans. The next total eclipse, it won't happen again for another 300 years. Now, on Monday, our crews will be at the Perot Museum and we've got a big party planned as well. There's also going to be specialists, including their eclipse partners from Carnegie Science. Joining us right now this morning is Dr. Solange Ramirez from the Carnegie uh, Observatories. Dr. Ramirez, glad to have you here on Daybreak. Really happy to be here to talk about the eclipse. Yes. Yeah, so first of all, tell us about, tell us our, tell our viewers rather, what you do at Carnegie Observatories. So I am based in Pasadena, California, at Carnegie Observatories. And what I do is to help our technical team to uh, build instruments for telescopes. I am a technical manager. Wow. I have a background in astronomy and engineering. And with that, I can work with interdisciplinary teams to build these instruments. Wow. Dr. Rimez, this weekend, of course, on Monday, right? Carnegie is teaming up with Dallas's own Perot Museum. How is this partnership truly benefiting North Texans? Well, we, we are right now partnering, as you said, with the Perot Museum, and we've been working with them for the last seven months to raise awareness and educate about uh, the eclipse. We are 29 astronomers here from Carnegie Science wow. in Dallas, and we have been visiting schools and community events uh, during all this week prior to the eclipse, so the, we've been receiving a lot of support from the community uh, all this week so we can actually be safe during this eclipse mm -hmm. and enjoy it as much as, as we can because this is a rare event. It, it really is. As for the day of the eclipse, what can people truly expect and what is going to change around us in the moment leading up to totality? Right, so uh, the moon is going to start covering the sun just a little by little uh, at about 12.20 uh, p.m. on Monday. Uh, as the eclipse progresses, uh, totality is going to uh, happen at about 1.40 p.m. At that time, uh, it's going to be become a little bit colder and it's going to be completely, completely dark. Um, during the period prior to totality, it is extremely important that the public uses their eclipse glasses. Dr. Ramirez? Yes. You know, quick question before we go here. For some people that I guess they're like, oh, I'm going to be at work. I'm not going to go out and try to see anything. What's mm -hmm. your advice to them? What do you say to them? This is a big deal. It is a big deal. And actually, totality lasts only a few minutes. Uh, three minutes and 52 seconds to be specific for people who are here in Dallas. Uh, I really invite people to, if they can, to take a break. Uh, probably five minutes before, go outside with their glasses, see how the totality is coming to be, and then uh, enjoy enjoy this event, which is extremely rare. As you said earlier, it's not going to happen in Dallas uh, for another 300 years. So wow. this, for many for many people living here in the area, will be a once in a lifetime opportunity to see if. We actually have clear weather and not clouds uh, on, on Monday. We will be able to see the corona of the sun, which is a very beautiful um, event and phenomenon that can only be seen during a total eclipse of the sun. Again, totality and viewing of the sun corona only last about four minutes. So if you can't take a break, go and experience it and, and, and see it. Oh, Dr. Ramirez from Carnegie Science, thank you so much for joining us. Like you said, take a break and go see it for this once in a lifetime event. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Um, my pleasure.
All right, and as Dr. Ramirez just said, uh, the Perot will have a ton going on come Monday. We're going to have our big party too, right? WFAA will have live coverage of the eclipse. We'll also be live on WFAA Plus starting at noon. Then at 1.30, we're going to carry over our coverage right here on Channel 8. Please don't miss it.